Hi, this is Jeff from AIS Solutions Group, and I'm here to show you a nifty new project management tool called Active Collab. Uh, Active Collab was designed by a company called A51 Development, and it is a web based management app, meaning that you can access it from any internet enabled computer with a web browser. Uh, we are making it available to our clients, um, you guys. Uh, in order to better show day-to-day -day progress on your projects as well as improve communication and provide another avenue for interfacing directly with the principals involved in your project. Uh, we found it to be incredibly user-friendly and efficient and the purpose of this video is to show you the how and the why. Uh, today I'll show you the basics including logging into your project portal, finding high-level project information, finding specific task-related project information, and using the various communication tools the software provides. Okay, so fire up your internet browser, uh, navigate to our website, which is www.aisolutionsgroup.com. See that here. Uh, come down and click the Clients button on the menu bar. This will take you to the Active Collab login screen. Now, Active Collab is not publicly accessible, so in order to access the system, you'll need a username and password that we set up for you. In this case, I've got a test account to show you guys uh, how everything works. So I'm going to enter my email address and password click login and I'll be taken to the Active Collab main dashboard. Uh, now this dashboard is a high level view of everything going on in the system that pertains to your project. Um, if any items are new or updated since your last visit they'll be highlighted here uh, as well as if there are any items that are late or due today they'll be highlighted here and starred items uh, which are a way to call attention to various aspects of a project. We'll cover that a little later. Um, they'll be highlighted for you here. There's nothing in these boxes at the moment because this is the first time we've logged in uh, as this user. Um, now, under the active projects list, uh, you'll see your company name and your project name. In this case, this is a test or a dummy company uh, that I've created, AIS Computers uh, Active Collab Training Video. Uh, you can see a little bit of information in terms of the project leader, the client, and a task bar here which will show you what's been done to this point. Uh, underneath that is a list of recent activities on the project. Uh, you can click on any of these items to go directly to them, uh, or you can do what we're going to do and click on the project name to be taken directly to the main project menu. So we'll do that here. Okay, so here we are inside of our project. Um, we're on the main menu screen and you'll see an overview here which gives you basic project details, uh, gives you links to various tasks that you may be involved with, um, shows you iCalendar feeds, RSS feeds, uh, upcoming milestones and their due dates. Uh, and also down here you'll see the recent activities list mirrored from uh, where we saw it earlier on the dashboard. Uh, you'll note that Active Collab repeats information like this at various places around the interface, which is one of the, one of the reasons why it's so intuitive uh, to navigate and, and real easy to find what you need. Now, the main menu bar here uh, breaks down all the options available to you inside your project. Uh, for now, we're going to ignore this administrator menu bar up here. Uh, that'll be for a later video, and we'll just focus on the tabs here. Okay, uh, so here we are looking at the main project menu. You'll notice that the first tab here is the milestone tab. Milestones are collections of high-level project tasks, usually focused around a date or a set of dates, and they may include things like a project kickoff milestone, uh, phase one work breakdown structure milestone, a phase two work breakdown structure milestone, and of course a project completion milestone. Now Active Collab is very flexible in terms of how it allows us to set up projects and we've chosen to build a three tier system. Uh, the first tier in our system is this milestone item. Uh, underneath each of these project milestones are various tickets uh, that represent the work needed to complete each milestone and underneath each ticket is the third and final tier which are called tasks. Uh, tasks are the day-to-day -day work items needed to complete each ticket. Okay, uh, so now we're going to take a look at our Milestones tab. Uh, you click that and you'll see all the milestones for your project. Right now for our test project we just have this Phase 1 Project Kickoff Milestone. Uh, so we're going to drill down into that a little bit. And you'll see uh, due dates, you'll see who's responsible, um, you'll see several uh, items that we'll cover over here in just a minute. Um, checklist, discussions, pages, and tickets is what I'd like to call your attention to here. If you'll recall from earlier, 
uh, our three-tier project management architecture uh, consists of milestones at number one and tickets under each milestone at number two. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at one of these tickets called Finish Active Collab Video. So let's drill down into that. Uh, now, you can see various information about this ticket. Uh, it's due on the 26th, excuse me, the 26th, which is tomorrow. Uh, I'm responsible, oh no. And uh, it's associated with the Phase 1 Project Kickoff Milestone. Um, now, the, the thing to note here and one of the neat features about Active Collab is the subscription feature. Uh, you'll see that I'm subscribed um, and this is because I'm a system administrator here. Uh, you'll note that we're actually logged in uh, as a pretend client uh, called AIS Client. So if we want to, in the role of the customer, subscribe to this ticket, uh, we go over here, click the subscribe button, and voila, we are now subscribed to the Finish Active Collab video ticket. Now what a subscription does for you is anytime information related to this ticket changes, you will get an email notification with a link uh, to view the changes. So whether someone adds a new task to the ticket, uh, whether someone comments on the ticket, uh, you will be notified. 